We're going to briefly introduce the so-called SIR model. And the SIR model is a major model of disease dynamics. So the SIR model classifies people in one of three ways during the outbreak of a disease. People could be susceptible to a disease. They could be infected by a disease, or they could be recovered from the disease. And we're supposing here that recovery grants immunity. In many ways, this looks like it should be studyable via Markov chains. We've got three discrete categories. So we've got finitely many categories. We have transitions between the categories. Susceptible people can become infected. Infected people can recover. And there are certainly elements of randomness here. Like once you're infected, you might recover sooner or you might recover later. So there's some randomness in these transitions. That being said, the SIR model is not usually studied using the tools of linear algebra. It's usually studied using differential equations. What are the problems here? Well, First of all, when you have a Markov chain, um, transition opportunities should come at discrete moments. So in the first example we gave, looking at a nucleotide, transitions can occur every time replication occurs. Um, in the second example, random walks, transitions occur every time you may reach an intersection. In the third example, transitions occurred every time you placed a bet. You don't really have that here. Someone can get sick, can go from S to I at any time. Likewise, someone can go from I to R at any time. That's not a fatal issue, though. We can just treat transitions as happening, say, once a day or once a week or so on. And of course, this will introduce slight errors into your model. So maybe if you treat transitions as happening every day at midnight, our model will say you got sick at midnight when actually you got sick at 9 a.m. 
But that's probably not the end of the world. A somewhat more serious issue is our transition probabilities fixed. And the answer to this has to be a no, at least not to usually. So f imagine an infectious disease. It's being spread by personal contact. And say initially, there are only a few infected people then susceptible people are unlikely to meet infected people. And since we can only go from S to I when that happens, the probability of going from S to I is low. However, once enough people become infected, it's now easy for susceptible people to meet infected people. And the probability of going from S to I is higher. So we don't have one fixed transition probability. Now a mathematician named Greenwood argue that there are still cases where using a Markov process is appropriate. So non-infectious diseases, perhaps spread by a tainted water supply or something like that. And when the SIR model is studied as a Markov process, it's called the Greenwood model. <laughs>